Hello everyone, this is part 2 of our beef special. We will transform this Tasmanian beef round into a tender nigiri and sushi roll. Have fun watching! Let's begin by rubbing in a handful of salt. This salt helps to get rid of excess water from the meat. Kindly wrap beef round with paper towel. Then leave it for a good 20 minutes. As you can see from soaking wet paper towel, excess water came out nicely. Now wipe it well for the one last time. Beef is now ready to be seared. Put a pan on high heat and place beef to sear on all sides. Patiently wait until color turns golden brown like this. Once beef is seared, take it out and wipe off the grease with paper towel. Prepare a bag of Ziploc to chuck beef round inside. As we do not own vacuum sealer, Akira-san is trying his best to seal it inside the water. Press the bag from the button to let the air go, like this. There we go. What we are about to reenact here is a cooking method called sous vide. If you own a sous vide machine, just use that. But as we don't have such luxury in our home kitchen, we were just gonna try and do it with a pan. <gasps> Bring water to 55 to 60 degrees Celsius and slowly cook the meat in the water bath for 60 minutes. While we're at it, let's make our condiment, shallot oil. Prepare one bulb of shallot, trim both ends, peel, cut it in half, then finely chop it. Once done, place them in a bowl. Let's heat 2 tablespoons of olive oil or any oil of your choice. Drizzle hot oil on top of shallot and mix well with a teaspoon of vinegar. Shallot's pungent heat gets milder when it's heated but still acts as a nice accent when topped onto beef nigiri. Super easy shallot oil is now ready. 60 minutes has passed. Let's take out the beef and check how it looks. Well, we can't really see what's in like inside, so let's carve it and see. Step when carving me for sushi is to trim off all the parts like here. It's a bit burnt, and we want to shape beef into good size so that it's easy to handle when making sushi. One more thing that we have to watch out is the direction of the grain like Akira-san is showing you right now. To achieve a tender slice of beef, it is most important to slice meat against this grain. Cuts from the top. 
Once your beef round netta is ready, it's nigiri time like any other sushi. A simple slice of roasted beef goes particularly well with wasabi, so do try with a hint of soy sauce. Or alternatively, top it with those shallot oil we made earlier. One other idea is to make a sushi roll, a marimaki. Cut slices of beef round into thin strips. Let's use about three slices. This here is makisu, a bamboo made sushi rolling mat. Place 60 grams of shari on top of nori. Then spread it evenly, leaving 1 to 2 cm space on both ends of nori sheet. Spread Japanese mustard. Then place 6 strips of beef on top. Sprinkle sliced onion and white radish sprout. Now lift the bottom side and while pushing in meat and veggies with your fingertips, roll it carefully. We'll make a separate video on Sushiro A to Z next, so stay tuned. Cut in half. Then into three. Our beef round sushi roll is ready! Last but not least, we will show you how to make a gunkan maki with beef steak we made in our previous video. <laughs> Roughly dice the beef into 1 cm cube or chunk, then marinate it with the special fruit sauce that Akira-san made. Prepare one fresh egg, and separate egg yolk and white. We can. Phew! That took a while, didn't it? Uh, let's say bye to the egg white as we will only use this egg yolk. Give a quick stir and leave that to the side for now. Now to the sushi. Make a small rice bowl using about 15 grams of shari, then wrap it with obinori. Place wasabi, then your desired amount of diced beef steak on top. Drizzle egg yolk, then place menegi, baby spring onion. Matase shimashita, dekiyagari desu. This one tastes a lot like sukiyaki. Sweet and rich beef with egg sauce creates a mouthful of heavenliness. Ordinary sushi tends to be paired more with a glass of white, but these beef sushi melee matches beautifully with the red wine as well. Hope you all enjoy! Thank you and arigatou! See you in the next video!